All right, here we are at uh, incarceration, day two still. Right now we're sitting with a couple guys from Impending Lies. So you want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? My name's Matt. All right. And I'm Davo. And you do? I play guitar. And, and I'm main vocalist. And you're main vocalist. So um, Impending Lies, where, how did you get it? I mean, uh, actually, uh, Jim came up with the name. He just actually walked away, I think. He walked away? Okay. Just mostly how everything, you know, 90% of people lie to you the most of the time. Yeah. And you're just basically waiting for the other foot to drop nine times out of ten. Yeah. At least that's the vibe I get off of it. I'm pretty sure he's on the same, but what's his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did, did you guys play this last year? Uh, no. So, when you pulled up today, did, was it like, holy fuck, that's a prison? Was, so, or was it really kind of... Cool. To me, I thought it was cool as fuck. Yeah, no, we were actually supposed to play this a few years ago, um, and we got rained out. So we were here, and then right before we were supposed to actually play, the lightning started going off, so we couldn't play. So we've actually been here before. This is actually the first time we were able to play at the festival. Oh, okay. So, and you guys did the tour and everything, obviously. Yes. You guys went through, and I, I was interviewing a man earlier, and they said that they went through, and there was a tour guide, I guess. And when they were walking through, something, like, spooked the tour guide or something, like something... Like in one of those cells, okay. and he was like, "Oh, we gotta get out of here." I'd be like, "Dude, no, get the Ouija board. Yeah, yeah. Get, 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 get in there. You can take that home with you. I'm yeah. good. No, I, <laughs> I kept saying I wanted to take a piece of uh, uh, paint chip. See how much lead was in it. Oh, I wouldn't even. You know? know. I'm sure probably a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like just lick it and keel over. You know, <laughs> you gotta sit on your tongue and settle in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you guys from originally? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland? Cleveland? Yeah. Because yeah, the, girls, the girls were like, hey, they're from our neck of the woods. Yeah. So um, do you guys know them from here, or did you guys just... Uh, it's the first time I ever First met time we met them. Oh, have you? Yeah, they're super nice. Oh, they're awesome. They're, they're a great bunch of young girls. I mean, they're just... They put on one hell of a show. Right? Oh, yeah. Holy good time. shit. I mean, it, they really do. I mean, I know burlesque dancers from Chicago, mm. and these girls, they have like a, a, a whole entire... Uh, production, yeah. uh -huh. you know, it, it's really cool. It was different than anything I'd ever seen before. Yeah, it really sure. is. Yeah. So, how did you guys get together? I'm, I'm gonna throw some questions out there that I always get from listeners. How did you guys start? Um, well, Jim was doing a side project that he wanted to do on his own, and he had posted some stuff on Facebook. I think this was like 2010, late 2010, early 2011. And I'd like some of the tracks he'd put down, and I asked him if he wanted to send me a couple so I could just, you know, maybe put something in as like a guest vocal or something, because I hadn't been doing anything at the time for a while. And uh, that's how it started, and then we started playing shows together, a few, what, six months later, and then, what, a few shows into that, we played with Dave's band, Relic, and they were out of Youngstown. And, yeah. Youngstown, right? yeah. And, uh... I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you and uh, Jim yeah. got that together. They he was stole like, hey. me is what it was. They yeah. stole you from so, Relic? Yeah. <laughs> so now we were playing and we played a few shows together. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, Jim took me out golfing one day and he's like, so when are you just going to come play with the band? And I was like, <laughs> and I was moving to Cleveland at the time anyway, so it kind of worked out. So then we started playing and writing and everything like that. And we've been together ever since. Okay. So how did that, I mean, did you, after he told you, hey, I got this guy coming in, what did it? No, I had met Dave. We'd played a couple shows with him, and he yeah. told me, he's like, I think I'm going to talk to him. And I'm like, awesome. Yeah, he's yeah, cool. an awesome guy. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends he's if I'm on my meds or not. Right, yeah. 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 or not. Yeah. So, um, when, when you guys got it together, and, and I mean, every, everybody comes from different backgrounds, obviously. When you guys put it together, was it was it like cohesive at first, or was it like, um, hey, let's try this? Can you do that? How did how did it come together finally? <laughs> well, he showed he showed me a lot of new stuff that I didn't know about. I mean, I think it, it mended good right in the yeah. beginning, and it got nothing but better in my opinion over time. Yeah. So. I mean, being a professional, I mean, obviously you're gonna you want to listen to new stuff. You want to be able to open to. To different sounds and different ways of doing things. Yeah. So, like, I mean, when you brought stuff in and you, you came to him and said, you know, is this gonna work? Or, I mean, everything should should flow. Yeah. They don't yeah. always flow. Yeah. You know so, that, but, sometimes you put hours or days into something and then it's just. So, yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, I ain't gonna work. You know, go back, go back to. Uh, yeah. You know, you did. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. No, luckily everything kind of melded together real quick when we started playing. We started writing a bunch of new material. I think when I joined the band, there was only like five or six songs that they had written, and before you knew it, we had you know tons of stuff to work with. So it, it took off pretty quick. Yeah, you know, it's something I've always done. Just kind of lock lock myself in a room, write a bunch of stuff. They'll bring it to the guys, and we'll tweak it and go through it and everything like that. Have him put his magic on it, and 
have him yell at me for a while. And, you know, <laughs> no, that's it. Do you, so do you do most of the writing? Yeah. So yeah, it's a collaborative effort for sure. Um, it just kind of depends on what it is. You know, sometimes some of the guys will bring a riff together, they'll bring a couple riffs, and I'll take it and re rearrange it and go from there. Sometimes we'll just write a complete song and bring it to the table and say, here, yeah, this is what it is. So, um, but no, it's it's nice because everyone's always got you know an input to it, and there's no egos or anything like that. So uh, it, it helps with the creative process. Yeah. Quite a bit. So, um, what did you guys think about playing out here? Uh, with all these bands and all you know everything I mean this kind of, this, this kind of took off like I mean I know you guys said you know a couple of years ago but this thing oh, kind yeah. of took off the last two years oh yeah you know um, what do you guys how do you guys feel about you know you come here and I mean there's Godsmack and Shine Down last night fucking killed it and I mean just everybody is, is, I mean, things don't things like this don't take off this fast yeah how do how do you guys feel now that you're you're here now and playing and I mean, is it like something different? Is it a different feeling, or do you still go out there and do your job? Oh, it's it's a little bit of both. I mean, yeah, it's amazing to pull in here and know that I get to play in the same venue as Godsmack or yeah. Shine Down or every other band that's playing today. Yeah, but yeah, you got to get up there and do it though. You, right. You know, you try not to get a little starstruck when you're doing it. But, right. You know, it's like Godsmack's. Um, doing their sound check over there. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 oh geez. Yeah, I'm blaming you for that. Right. What is yeah. that? Oh, yeah, keep the camera this way. Oh, Do not yeah. turn around. Yeah, don't turn the camera around, please. Keep the camera right there. Yeah, the holy shit. And, no. He's hairier than I am. He's a hairier yeah. dude. That's Adam's friend. <laughs> that's <laughs> what? That's our, our drummer, Adam. That's, that's your drummer? No, oh. that's his friend. Oh. Oh, God, he's coming this way. Oh, he's coming uh, this way. Know. Keep the camera here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does that every show. Oh, man. Yeah. He's, that's our he merch guy. He's with us all the time. That's he, how you yeah. sell shit. He rubs his nipples. He Something does? Like. Yeah. yeah. We introduced him in the middle of the set. Like, go yeah. see yeah. Chuck. I keep telling you something. He told him to take his shirt off his shows. So. Yeah. Oh, it attracts people. Hey, hey you it know. Lost to a flame. Whatever works, man. Yeah. He's coming closer. He's coming up. Behind you. <laughs> there he is. Oh, What's going on, guys? Yes. <laughs> it's cold out on the road. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna poke somebody's eye out there. <laughs> yeah. It's cold in the shade. <laughs> all right. I have no train of thought. Yeah, I know. right now. That is good. Yeah. But it's, it's great being here with all you guys. I'll try to bring it back on the rails. Bring it back yeah. on the track. <laughs> We've been fortunate enough to play with a lot of these these bands, even that are here today before, um, you know, some different festivals and stuff like that. So, but seeing these guys all in one spot, it's just it's surreal. It's always a good time. We yeah. Love it. So, what do you guys got coming up? What, what, what are you guys doing after today? Still we'll, touring? What? No, we're taking some time off of the road. We are finishing up an album right now. So to get that done before the end of the year. Um, so we're just gonna get it done and then have one hell of a party up in Cleveland and see where it goes from there. Okay. And you guys, are, do you have a tour in mind or do you have something that you're you want you're gonna try and work on or? No, nothing brewing right now. No, nothing brewing right now, but something will pop up. Just that you want to get the album done first. Yeah, that's our that's number one priority. Right okay. Now. And um, so what do you guys do when you go home? Is there anything else you guys do after, like, you go home other sleep. than music? Sleep. 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 Yeah, we're, you know, yeah. we work a lot, you know. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta do your 9 to 5 and then, you know, families and kids and in bills. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So who has kids? All oh, y'all? I got kids. You got kids? How many you got? I think I'm the only one with kids. I have, a, I have two. I have a 12-year-old and a 2-month-old. Oh, yeah. there's a there's a gap. There's a gap there. Free oh. babysitter though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a gap. Mine are I got 23 and a 21. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but I got a three year old grandson, so well, he keeps me running. Babies oh. and babies. Woo, boy, that boy keeps me. But he's my buddy though. That's awesome. Yeah, he, yeah, my grandson. He's just, he's the first I, I was babysitting him when he was like. 11 months old, 10 months old, uh -huh. and I was on air, and I was playing Metallica, that was his first headbang. Nice. Excellent. It was awesome. fucking awesome. He was just like, he kind of stopped eating, he was like, I'm like, yeah, you're my good. You that's are doing it right, sir. Yeah, that's my boy there. That's awesome. Well, I was, I'm so old, I saw Metallica open up for Ozzy in 86. Nice. Yeah. I will tell you what I was doing in 86. <laughs> Were you uh, still a swimmer? <laughs> Fresh out. Fresh, Fresh out, out, huh? Fresh, Fresh out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I've been like, yeah. It, it, I've been a while. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so what about uh, the other guys? What else did they? 
I mean, the other band, they're all standing behind you, kind of just kind of staring in. But what what do they do on their time off? Do you know, or do you just like when you guys break off? Is it just kind of let's let's spend a week apart and then get back together and, and bring it back? That's kind of what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody goes off does their own separate thing. I know Jim loves playing basketball. You do too sometimes. Yeah. But you know, like I said it, between work and then trying to do this, there really isn't a lot of time for extra for activities. Right. So. Yeah. With the kids, yes. the new it's ones. Just, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. How did the twelve-year-old take it when you had the new one? Ah, uh, she's excited about it. She's scared of her though right now. She doesn't want to. She's afraid to pick her up. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, she's afraid she's gonna drop her. I'm like, eh, if you're scared, maybe we'll just wait then. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. see. Yeah, and there's no time frame. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> so, um, so who are you guys gonna? Uh, are you guys hanging out the rest of the day? Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. Be here all day. You're gonna be here all day watching the rest of the I'll show. I'll see all these guys play. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I've seen Buck Terry a couple times. They put on a good show, but. I'm I'm looking forward to Godsmack and I didn't know they did a nine inch nail cover. That was awesome. Yeah, they played that and they opened up. Yeah, that was sweet. That was it sounded just like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I am really looking forward to Godsmack. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, and a couple of the other bands that you know, especially tomorrow too. Yeah, tomorrow is busy as fuck. Motionless and white. Oh, I want to see motionless. Yeah, yeah, yeah motionless yeah. and white. I'm actually looking forward to seeing live. You haven't seen them live? I've never seen live. No, I've never seen live. You've never seen live, live? Live. Live. It's always confusing. Yeah, I've never seen live. (laughs) Looking forward to that. Yeah, I've never seen them live either. A few songs that we play on air, but I've never got a chance to see them. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be good. And tomorrow's going to be a really good day. Are you guys sticking around for tomorrow? Uh, Unfortunately, I can't. I'm on baby duty. You got baby duty? I got baby duty. (laughs) All right. Okay. Yeah, him and James are going to be here. KJ and James will be here. Oh, you guys are going to be here? Yes. Okay. Here. No, All right, no one cool. cares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Yeah. All right, guys. I know you guys are going to be making your rounds and doing your media thing today. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate I you. really do. Yeah, also, you, um, before we go, where can people get your stuff? You have merch. You have yeah. uh, hard copies of music. What up? I mean, I know about all the downloads. You don't have to go through all the downloads. But. Yeah, just basically, you can like, hit up Facebook, um, facebook.com slash impending lies. That's going to get you to all the social media outlets. Um, there's links up to our online store. You can buy all the different merch we have and CDs and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Uh, next year is uh, Asgard's 10-year anniversary. <coughs> Relaunching a whole new website. Um, we're going to have a video of the week, and we're going to have an album of the awesome. week uh, on the front page. So what it's going to do is I tried to do a link to where you guys don't get ripped off when you try and sell your shit on... That's always nice. But, <laughs> um, but the way that the internet set up and how the music industry is, we have to go through Spotify. Yeah. We have to go through all that bullshit. Sure. So what we're doing is we're going to put your album, a song, and then a link to directly to your album sales. Oh, there you go. Nice. So you guys can get your own sales so you guys don't have to people you're, you're not getting you know point zero zero two three cents per 500 songs uh, you know we're gonna we're, we're gonna try and get people directly to your site so we're gonna have a whole page dedicated to all the bands uh with album covers or, or logo or something to where we can help you guys out because i know you guys I, I, it's just it's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, it is or it is. And we it appreciate really, any help we can get. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to launch. And I really did. We we looked in, into it for about a month and a half, trying to find a platform to where we could sell your music. And you pay me like ten dollars a year, and you make every penny off of whatever you sell. That's Everything. Oh, amazing. And awesome. I mean, you if you sell ten albums for a buck a piece, you got your money back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. But it, but of course. They won't let us because the music industry is. Hopefully, they get that figured out eventually. Uh, they will. Yeah, they will. Yeah, because I'm working on it. I, I really am. I've been working on this for ten years. I'm going to figure this shit out to where we can actually get you guys paid some money. Cool. So, all right, guys, check these guys out. Buy their stuff so we can get them on the road a little bit more, and he can buy more formula and diapers. Diapers. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later here at Incarceration.